is wealth. It ensures the happiness and the ability to do the work. It is our prized possession. It is the self-practiced and self-promised phenomena. I am Dr. Anjana Agarwal talking on health, various issues in health and various dimensions in health. In this picture, you can see the physical dimension, the mental dimension and the social dimension. Now, we will understand what we are going to learn in this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the health, definition of health, signs of physical, mental and social health, factors affecting the importance of health and the indices of good health, immunity and immunization schedule. Let us see what the word is health. It is a Latin word hall or hail which means whole and well. World Health Organization is the apex body in health. It gives the definition in 1948 which still exists. Health is a complete physical, mental and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. I repeat, health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. It gives the complete definition that it includes the physical, mental and social and it is the absence of the disease. In everybody's life, all days may not be as healthy and there are various factors environmental and internal which may cause some signs in bad health. People enjoying good health are more cheerful, energetic, full of life, efficient at work, therefore more productive. Good health means the proper functioning of the body inside the body and all the organs do their work perfectly. This is a physical health and people are able to run also. Here you can see the rounded nails in pictures, alertness and energetic. Here are normal weight. This is an important indice here and on this we categorize the level of health and the malnutrition also. The person has to be of age in connection with that age, the height and weight is measured. The person having the good appetite and digestion and regular elimination is a sign of good health. The person having the shiny and lustrous hair, having the natural color and texture is another sign of the good health. Now, let us see the what mental health and what are their signs. When we see the mental health, it is the ability to control the emotions. It is the attitude which helps to help others. It brings the confidence in you and it is the ability to seek the help when needed. It is a balanced feeling of desires, ambitions and ideas. They should not be under and they should not be over. So, there is a need for the balance which shows that the person is having the good mental health. It is also the ability to cope with the day to day stress of life. In today's world, the stresses of life are keep increasing, but person in good mental health has the ability to cope up with all those stresses. It is also the ability to accept the realities of the life. This is very important here that we should not always dream which is not real. So, ability to have the realities to see the realities is very important part of the mental health. This is a social health. Man is a social animal, it is a popular saying and he needs to be or she needs to be a part of the various communities or a society. Let us see what are the good signs of the social health. Have a healthy interpersonal relationship, has the ability to talk to the strangers and to the known. It must be ability to have the get along with the people and ability to accept the disagreement. This is a very important because the two people may not have the same opinion, but when you show the difference in the opinion, but you should not behave in an improper way. And have the positive attitude towards life, have a pleasant personality and one must have the responsibility to show to others also, not for self always. These are the factors which affects the health, particularly the personal health. We will talk very soon what are the personal health, personal hygiene, how will you maintain it. In this you will see the personal health 
are the signs. Relaxation and sleep, balanced diet and good hygiene helps to maintain the personal health. But if you are indulged in smoking, drug abuse or alcohol, your personal health may get affected. Now, these are the factors which affects the health behavior. Access to the health services, social support, income, education level, physical environment, employment or the working conditions are equally important for showing the health behavior, cultural practices and the gender because both men and women, girls and boys may show different health behavior in different conditions. Let us see the balanced diet or the importance of the balanced diet which has the effect on the health. If you have the balanced diet, what it will give? Good nutrition, maximize your energy level, it will protect your health and prevent the diseases and this is the pyramid. If you follow this pyramid, in other lessons also you have learned to follow this pyramid and you will have the balanced diet, it will help you have a healthy life also. Another is to maintain the personal hygiene. On awakening, you should always visit the toilet, brush your teeth, hand washing after every use of toilet, bathing regularly. All these will help to kill the germs in the daily routine and will make you healthy. These are some of the domestic hygiene. It does not mean that you make yourself healthy and your home is not clean enough. If your home is not clean enough, that will also cause variety of development of the microorganisms and other animals, insects, rats, etc. But you have to maintain the cleanliness in the house also. We generally using the word domestic hygiene. So, you should keep covered all the foods, throw the garbage, collect at one place and throw away on the right place wherever needed. Dustbin can be used regularly and napkins can be used. This is the food hygiene. This is very, very important here because food is perishable and nutritious and it is a breeding ground for the germs. So, you need to wash the fruits and vegetables before using it in the clean water. You have to use the clean water for the cooking, washing and everything. I am showing one picture here. So, many times keeping the things in the refrigerator, but you need to sort it out if it is spoiled and if not of use, you must regularly throw that out and you must heat the food before use in a proper time so that at high heat the all the germs and microorganisms are killed. Every day you need some time for relaxation and sleep and that is a basic thing to have a healthy life. So, relaxation is very necessary after the hard days work to get you because you get tired, your muscles get tired and your mind needs to be refreshment and you need the sleep for that. I told you earlier also you have to avoid the drugs, alcohol, everything because drinking alcohol may lead to health problems like loss of senses, digestive problem, liver damage, heart failure, avoidance of smoking. You must have seen the statutory warning on every packet that smoking is injurious to health. Why? Because it damages the lungs, gums, teeth and causes of lung and mouth cancers. Drugs. Drugs spoils not your health, but your life. Drug abuse is an illegal activity. It adversely affects the liver, kidney, heart and may lead to death also. Now, we will talk about the community health. Because you are using the community health services, you are using the water supply, you are using the drainage and you are also throwing away the garbage in the community area in a definite place. What is the meaning of community health? Community health is a practice of preventing diseases and promoting the health of a population through the organized efforts of society, public and private organizations, communities and individuals. These are four major important concerns of the community health. Water supply, garbage disposal, outbreak of infectious diseases and natural calamity. We will talk one by one. Everybody needs the safe drinking water in the required amount on a daily basis. So, we have to be very careful and concerned about the water supply from where we are getting it. What safe drinking water is everybody's need 
water supply comes from the main community sources such as domestic water pipeline, hand pumps, etc. Now let us see the garbage disposal is done in each home then it goes to a common place far away from the living area where it is treated. If not collected for many days you can think of it but it is a bad odor also and it develops or breeds lots of flies, mosquitoes etc. And it is a major cause of several diseases. Let us see outbreak of infectious diseases. When we say the outbreak that means in one time only so many people it may be hundreds it may be thousands get the same diseases in short period of time that we call as an outbreak of disease. You must have seen the malaria is spreading rainy season is there so many diseases may be the eye conjunctivitis may be the malaria may be the dengue so many diseases are spreading in the community not in one home. So, that we call outbreak here you can see the all the hospitals are this and this is a mosquito which is causing the disease natural calamity it may not be in our hands right, but slowly slowly we are digging out the earth we are cutting the trees making the environment not suitable for the human, but they are the reasons why frequent natural calamities are occurring. Natural calamities includes the floods, tsunami, landslides, earthquakes etcetera and it causes the not only the life, but the lives of millions and damage to the properties. Let us see how you can help in the community health and what are the activities you will do it. Maintain the cleanliness in the villages, towns and cities on what? Garbage disposal, supply of clean drinking water, waste collection from the localities. Ensure the standards of food stores, meat and milk outlets. This is very important because as I said earlier also food is perishable and they need to be seen or checked at the site where the people are preparing the food material may be the vegetables may be the milk and may be the meat because these three are most perishable food items. Organize the health promotional activities you can distribute several kinds of pamphlets you can do lectures you can organize small camps and you can also organize in contact with the hospitals for the immunization and where you can also teach the prevention and treatments of several diseases and immunization is very important. Now, various programs health programs and nutrition program our government of India or has already launched to help the people to be more healthy. Which programs? National malaria eradication program, the tuberculosis or TB eradication program, national immunization program. National Pulse Polio Program, Integrated Child Development Services or ICDS, Midday Meal Scheme, National Nutritional Anemia Prophylaxis Program, Iodine Deficiency Disorder Control Program. Let us see the immunity. We keep on hearing the word the immunity. Somebody is having the disease that means that person is weak in his immunity or if somebody because the environment is same for all where we are living one person is getting the disease one is not. So, immunity is the one which is playing the critical role here. Let us see what the immunity is. Immunity is a biological phenomena. It is a natural defense system of the body to fight against the disease causing microorganism which are also called pathogens that include bacteria and viruses. There are variety of millions of bacteria and viruses, but which causes the disease are called pathogens and our body has the natural defense system to fight against that. If not, then our immunity is low. There are two main agents in the immunity. One is antigen and another is antibody. When it goes to your red blood cells, the both gets the fight here and if the antibodies are more antigen is outside 
and let us see what both of them are. Antigens are foreign particles or microorganisms against which antibodies are generated in the body, antigen induce the immunity. Understood? So, that means antigens are the foreign particles which enters into the body and from them the antibodies are generated. If antibodies are sufficient, antigen will develop the immunity. What are antibodies? Antibodies are protein molecules produced in the white blood cells which is also called lymphocytes to counteract the antigens. These antibodies identify or neutralize the antigens. I again repeat these are the protein molecules generated by the white blood cells or lymphocytes. So, they will fight against the antigen and neutralize them. So, you will not get the disease. So, you can see the fight. When pathogenic bacteria having the antigen attacks the body and the body does not have enough antibodies to fight the antigen, then the symptoms of the disease can occur. Understood? Natural immunity. When we say the natural, that means it is already present in the body. It is inherent. It provides the protection to the disease. It prevents the entry of the pathogen in the body and the skin, mucous membrane, Hydrochloric acid in the stomach and the white blood cells are the one which plays significant role in providing the natural immunity acquired. That means, you develop the immunity during the course of life. How? It develops one's life throughout when antigen antibody interaction. This is a specific type of immunity where each type of antibody acts against a specific antigen. You must understand there is a one antibody and one antigen. They have some of them have specific characteristics, specific shape. If both merge together and form interaction, then only it can be neutralized. Simple to remember is each antibody remember and recognize the specific antigen and destroy them when they invade the body again. As I told you, each antigen and each antibody have a definite structure. When this antigen again entered the body, then the antibody again came into the connect with the antigen and neutralize that. That means, your body is having sufficient amount of immunity. Let us see what kind of them. There are innate means inherent, adaptive you have adapted. How you have adapted? From the natural. That means, you are getting from your mother that is called passive immunity. From the mother's milk, you get the immunity. That is why we keep on telling mother's milk is best because that provides a lifelong immunity to a child. You get infection. Earlier days, you must have her smallpox, but when it is artificial, antibody transfer is one other technique. But immunization is a community popular and cost effective technique which can provide you the immunity. What is immunization? We use the vaccine in immunization. What is vaccine? Vaccines are inactivated or weakened pathogens or their products that function as antigen or foreign agents that are injected into the body. Vaccines are the foreign antigen which are as you have already learned that when antigen enters the body, it fights with the antibody present in the body and then you get the immunity. But vaccines are external antigen or behave like an antigen against different kind of thing. That is why you must have heard that variety of vaccines are given to a child to get the immunity against those diseases. They in turn activate the immune system and produce the antibody during subsequent infection. When we use the vaccines, the process is immunization. Vaccines helps to develop the immunity and fight the infection or diseases to prevent or occur in the future. The process of injecting the vaccine as per age and other health conditions is referred as immunization. Please remember and read again and again 
it is a process immunization is not a vaccine many times it is confused vaccine is different and immunization is different immunization is done with the use of vaccine it is a process injecting the vaccine as per the age and other health condition there is immunization schedule developed at national level to protect the population particularly for the children and it keeps on updating also vaccines are available for different diseases and given from the birth at different times of life to provide the lifetime protection from the diseases and immunization and the booster you must have heard the word booster that means repeat dose of certain vaccines are recommended and very popular ones are diphtheria pertussis and tetanus in short term we use the term dpt bcg is a word which is given for the or vaccine given for the tuberculosis and the full form of this bcg here bacillus calmed querin is another popular vaccine this is a national immunization schedule here from birth bcg is given at 6 weeks of life oral polio dpt hepatitis b is given similarly it is also given repeat or the booster dose at 10 weeks at 14 weeks but at the one year the measles vaccine is also given similarly we have shown here that for the tetanus dt dpt oral polio is given at the 16 to 24 months vitamin a is not a vaccine is not a vaccine it is a vitamin drops vitamin a drops are given at different age group in during pregnancy also tetanus toxoid second dose and the booster dose at given at different age groups immunization is given free of cost at government hospitals and dispensaries primary immunization is scheduled in the first year of life to provide optimal protection to the infant please see any delay in following the immunization schedule exposes the infant to the risk of the disease or harm to the health in this picture you can see the polio case the person is affected for the life because this person may not have gone under the immunization hence the timing and sequence and frequency of the immunization schedule should be strictly followed there is a national immunization program as i told you earlier also for infants children and pregnant women and it is continuously updated by the ministry of health and family welfare under national mission and polio is one of them we are talking about the health what is health what are the indices of health health has three dimension or health triangle you have seen in the first slide physical mental and social we have also talk about the what are the things which can affects the health what we should do it and how you are doing the community services to get the best out of that four things we have talked about the safe drinking water garbage disposal to prevent the outbreak of infectious diseases and how you can face the natural calamities also and how you can prevent it then we have talked in detail what is immunity what is antigen what is antibody and what is the immunization importance of immunization then we have also talked about immunization schedule and if you are not following what harm it can be done this is if this much is learned i hope you can be in a good health forever and you can maintain your good health be healthy and always be healthy thank you so much